somebody new for you all, somebody new to me, a friend of the channel wrote to me and said that his friend had been taken advantage of by this specific medium. And he wanted me to take a look at this guy. And the medium's name is Dean McMurray, M-C-M-U-R-R-A-Y. And his first name is Dean, D-E-A-N. He is the military medium. I'd never heard of him before. And, you know, I am not taking a huge dive into this man, but I've downloaded a bunch of his videos. And I'm not quite sure um <laughs> it doesn't seem to be hot reading anybody um but um, i'm not seeing a lot of readings i'm seeing a lot of interviews or he's giving like monday messages kind of things which feel like they're a cross between like a fortune cookie like you know uh, or a deepak chopra reading kind of a mixture of feel goody kind of things like make sure you're taking care of yourself and getting a massage and spend time outdoors and and I have spirits telling me to um, you know spend time with chickens or something no he didn't say that but it's 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 not it's all good advice just you know take care of yourself and it, it's like feel good kind of stuff there's nothing no oomph there um, i guess like if you were seeing a, a life coach or something i guess i i, I don't know it wasn't much there um anyway um he has on youtube he has 237 subscribers which is nearly nothing he has 35 videos which have 6330 views and he's been on there since 2016 in other words next to zero um, on TikTok, he has 299 followers and he has 755 likes. So that's essentially zero. Um, he is, <laughs> there's quite a few things. I'm going to show you because it's a little different um, as far as the um, the different things he does. So let's take a look at his website which is it's a nice enough website so let's go through some of these because they're it's 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 kind of interesting so it looks like he had done a sizzle reel or a, like a trailer for a tv show because there's several different versions of it on his on his uh youtube channel this woman right here seems to be the only reading that i can kind of find that i'll i'll, I'll show you a tiny bit of that in a minute Okay, it says he's a internationally acclaimed psychic. Internationally acclaimed psychic, guys. Dang. With less than 300 YouTube subscribers. He's a medium. He's a healer, whatever that means. He's a dowser. That means those people with the witching uh, sticks that can find water and stuff like that. Um, James Randi used to test them and he says they're the most deluded, delusional people you will ever meet. There's nothing you can you can do to show them that they're not finding gold or water or whatever it is, even with strict controls. He's an ordained minister and he is people from across the globe are drawn to him for reading some personal guidance. OK, so I don't really care about his story right now. And he says that his clients throughout the world he teaches mediumship classes i'm finding much finding this is very common with almost all mediums they teach classes all right so you can book an appointment you can book an event um, it says here he's got a legal disclaimer uh, that no psychic can no psychic reading can predict forecast diagnose or provide information with absolute certainty no kidding no guarantees or assurances of any kind are given, and Dean will not be held accountable for any interpretations or decisions made by recipients based on information provided during readings for entertainment purposes only. Oh, no. The, no. There is no entertainment value in this whatsoever. And the reading that I watched and the other things I've seen 
there's he's not no he's going all in that he's talking to the dead for medical concerns please consult with a physician for legal matters please contact an attorney or law enforcement so he's got this disclaimer on here if i really think we could concentrate on him if we really wanted to you know get some readings and, and so on from him i bet there'd be no problem whatsoever getting him to do something medical or legal or whatsoever because that's usually true with most mediums they get in a zoom reading with you or one-on-one -on -one in person and they they think that um you know it's just there for for appearances so he has you could book events with him everything it doesn't look like he's speaking anywhere but he does talk about that you can have your own psychic medium party. Ooh, yay! <laughs> Again, I guess he thinks it's fun. A psychic party for your next private or corporate party. Memorable as giving an insightful glimpse into the future for you and your guests. Okay, that's fine. If you're a mentalist and it's just a wink, wink, nod, nod. Yeah, I'm having a fortune teller come to my party. But this guy says he's really a psychic. And this guy says he's communicating with the dead. Wait until I show you. So it he can speak on topics. He's had the honor to consult on a psychic level for corporation owners, managers, CEOs, and COOs. Of course, they're all unnamed. He's extremely confidential and ethical in all that he does. If you and your organization is at a crossroads, let Dean assist you in your decisions okay now <laughs> you're, you're sitting down are you sitting down i think this is probably a lot more common than than you would expect but here we go intuitive real estate consulting no wait it's not what you think it's not what you think he's not consulting about real estate he's saying you get your house all spiffy and nice and clean and, and all that kind of stuff. And what ends up happening, it doesn't sell. And it's probably because it has bad energy. So you can hire Dean, the military medium, and he'll come and he'll clear your house for you. <laughs> I'd like it if he'd come and really clean up my house. Um, okay. So it, it says he says that the house has all sorts of emotions and it has has personal energy. And sometimes that energy can block the house from selling. Commercial properties go through the same struggles, collecting energy from all those who have come and gone over the years. I can clear homes, land, businesses, commercial properties, you name it. I can clear the negative energy, holding it back. Okay. So. <laughs> all right. What he does, he says, here's how he does it. He will energetically whip your home or business into shape. So it will sell. You know, property will usually sell eventually. This is like, okay. Here's what you can expect during a session. You ready? Once we agree to a date and time for me to start, I suppose, and your check players, I connect remotely. He says, I don't need to be on site. He's going to clear the energy out of your house without entering the state the house is in. Isn't that nice? He uses a custom 30-point worksheet that fine-tunes my focus on your property, home, business, or listings. I don't know why, but he has property capitalized and home business or listings are not capitalized. So I, I don't know. Maybe that's some special medium um, grammar or maybe it's just a mistake any current issues that are holding the property back that need to be addressed by you and the solutions to those issues for homeowners for homeowners please note it may require more than one session exact amount of sessions will be disclosed before any work or agreement is made there are no hidden fees so He's going to go and he's going to remote in and clean your house. It doesn't say he's. You just give him an address because it doesn't say like you have to be zoomed in the house and he does it while you're over Zoom. I 
He says it's necessary to, to chat by phone or video to discuss the session details. And it's confidential and so on. So curious here. He what you give him your address and he what Google maps it? Well, come on now. Do you think he's really doing anything? Do you think he gets the money and he says, okay, I'm done? How do you check? The house sells? <laughs> well, the house is going to sell eventually anyway. I mean, here, dude, here's some money. What a gig. Yeah, I did it. I guess you could look it up on Google Earth to make sure it actually exists. But yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens if the house burns down or something, you know, or people break into the house because it's empty? Well, okay. There was some leftover residual, residual energy, negative energy. So how much does that cost, guys? He's going to have a phone conversation with you or a Zoom conversation with you to talk about it. And he's going to tell you how many, how many sessions you need beforehand. I, I have no idea how it is. Does he go on square footage? Does he look and decide how, you know, how many bills he has to pay that month? Or does he look and see what the Google the client and see how expensive the house is, you know, and says, okay, well, this is a multi-million dollar home. So therefore, it's going to need three sessions. Or if it's like a house that maybe is $150,000, well, then maybe one session will do it. Is that how he does it? He evaluates it for, I mean. <laughs> okay. Oh, so how much does this cost? So a homework clearing process in person, if he goes to your home, $750. It covers up to 400 miles from my location. All other on-site locations, rates can be discussed. Um, and that includes you get to have a talk with him over Zoom. Okay, if you do it remotely, it's only $450. Dang. Um, you can get a consult. He'll help talk to you about the energy that I guess it's in the house. And how much work needs to be done? $500. Okay, and then down here, some of his other things. He's got an intuitive consulting discovery call for $150. I guess it's like um, coaching, you know, the life coaching kind of thing. Uh, phone reading is a $300 for an hour. Phone. A 30-minute is 150 A reading by Zoom for an hour is 300 So it's the same price either way. Oh, you can get a quick reading and want to save some cash in a written format. You don't have to be present. You can read it at your leisure. A lot of folks like it because it's all written down so they can reference it later. Okay, so that's only $25 for an email reading. Oracle card readings. Um, 12 months of emailed readings, $333. Oh, and oh my gosh, you guys, if you have, if you don't know what to get somebody a gift, you want to give somebody a gift and you don't know what to get them, get them a gift certificate. You can get them anywhere from $100, $50 to $1,000. Looking for that perfect gift for that hard to buy person. Look no further. These gift certificates make the perfect gift for all occasions. And he'll write it down on a piece of paper. guys are rushing to 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 make your purchase right now right aren't you hold me back hold me back i can't wait to throw some money at this guy so the person who told me about this man he he said you know his friend has been taken in by him now i haven't gotten into detail with him i'm dying to see what that's all about i'm not finding anything on the internet that is like you put their person's name in, you put the word scam or fraud or fake or something like that. And it should come up with some kind of, you know, people complaining about them and so on. So I didn't try Yelp. 
that's a good place to look, see if he's got any reviews on Yelp. Maybe, maybe I'll check that out. But I think his, his footprint in the world of mediumship, despite the fact that he's world renowned, um, I don't think there's much. Uh, he's not very prolific. He's on TikTok. And TikTok was very mild. Like I said, he's got 300 followers, well, 299. And he's got a He's got some videos, but they're mostly commercials for himself or those Deepak Chopra kind of um, fortune cookie kind of thing where he's just saying vague things, morning messages. And he puts out like a a, a, a picture of some, he's going to be on some TV, sh not TV show, but like a radio, paranormal radio show from somebody I've never heard of. And it'll just have music playing over it and it's just a picture of his thing. Nothing exciting. I'm really not seeing any readings. Um, very low views, 60 to maybe 300 views on the TikToks. I'm not really seeing much. Okay, so... I told you I'd show you a video, right? Let me show you parts of a video. Oh, dear. This looks, this is, I don't, I'm, I was thinking about taking the woman out and her voice and her picture and all that, but this is like a promo for a TV show and it's used on this website and it's used on various places. So I don't know if it's somebody he knows. Um, he's got a release for it. She's obviously okay having her name out there and so on. So let's take a look at this. And um, I don't know if I have much more, <laughs> much more than that. This is very quick. Well, three minutes. I, I think I'm going to stop it very quickly, though. But now I'm in service as a medium. I use my psychic abilities. I'm helping veterans, their families communicate with the fallen in the spiritual realm. I'm seeing those that have crossed over and we have a conversation back and forth. He really wants you to know as you move forward, it's not about forgetting him, but it's about being able to live life again. Today, I am talking to Dean about my late husband. Um, he passed away in 2010, so I'm looking for a little bit of closure there. So right away, one of the interesting things, Celeste, I was almost bowled over by a bunch of energy, and it was just a really strong male energy. Adam. Adam. As soon as somebody sits down and is there for a reading, Immediately, I ask spirit to step forward, just subconsciously. It's more of a mind's eye picture, and we're talking back and forth. As he comes forward, he actually passed uh, younger. And understand that not telling you all the dangers was his last act of protecting you, in a sense. Do you have any specific questions that you want to know from him? I need to know if he's mad at me or not. What I'm seeing is almost like... Um, like a picture on the wall. Did it break? It was a picture of him, and yeah. it was on a shelf on the wall. Okay. And it just, no, there, we weren't stomping, we weren't Nothing. throwing anything, there was yep. no reason. But I always wondered, I bet you anything that was him. Was that him? Absolutely. <laughs> that is their way of saying, enough. Enough fighting. Really? Yeah. But understand, too, that was good because it needed to come out after he passed, the dynamics between you and his family completely changed. And it was all of a sudden like, you're the bad guy now. And so he is validating for you that the only thing that you could do is to cut that connection. I can understand the guilt. If you have a deceased loved one, it raised. Okay, so he's just telling her to cut off the family of your cut off your in-laws because he said so and a picture fell off the wall and i guess the well this is obviously edited heavily edited uh video of this reading he's doing so 
just seems pretty pretty cruel that a medium seems to have that kind of power over this woman saying cut off your connection to your in-laws because I you know it just seems very cruel not let's work it out but the picture fell off the wall and your your dead husband is forced that picture off the wall off the shelf and that's his way of saying you need to cut off my family from you I don't know maybe they have kids what if they had kids and now the grandkids are estranged from their grandparents or other things so we don't know and we're not likely to know because this is a heavily edited video and I, there's 40 seconds left. I don't feel like watching it, but you can see he's sitting down with a military widow and he says to her, I'm seeing a man. And she says, Adam, my husband, you know, he's like, yeah, it's Adam. He just said, so he said, Hey, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but you know what I mean? And he died younger. Younger than what? He's younger? She, didn't she say when he died? Or I don't know if she told him, but I think it was in the intro. Anyway, it's just so manipulative. Okay, I, I don't know when this video is recorded, but he her son, husband died in 2010. And the video is at least 2018 or 2020, or maybe before the pandemic. It just, I don't know how old it is, but it's obviously higher quality looks like it's filmed well it is let's see if i can find it really quick because there's so few videos here um here's one year ago i think so probably in the last few years the his youtube channels existed since 2016 and so if he if it was 2016 when he sat down with this woman then that's six years of grief and for her dealing with this grief that maybe should have been talked over with a counselor or her in-laws or a clergy member or a best friend or something because what do you what do you think dean mcmurray is going to say when the woman says i feel guilt because we were fighting right before you, he died and I want to know if he's forgiven me well what do you think he's going to say no he's going to say of course he's forgiven you and he wants you to come and have more readings with me and give me lots of money <laughs> or was it she, she wants to know if he's forgiven her for having a fight with the in-laws the, the the Adam's parents or maybe she's starting to have a new relationship with somebody and he wants to know I don't know you guys, it's so not entertainment. It is so manipulative. These people, these heroes from the military are cut down in their youth at the height of their vitality to end service for democracy. And it's horrible. And Yet here now they're preying on these family members who are having a difficult time with it, which obviously you would be. Now, the footage you saw of the people, the the military that you saw through there, I believe I read a synopsis. Oh, it says here, all images of military members are stock video clips. So they're not real people who have died. They're just stock members, a stock video clip. So when you saw those people smiling and so on, it wasn't like those are past clients of his or what he sees in his mind or anything like that. So I thought I'd, I'd throw that out there. So all main characters have given express permission, it says. Oh, it does say that the Sizzler clip was shot quite a while back and it's credit to Brian O'Donnell and crew. So there was... An attempt to make him into a TV show. It's really not anything there. And trying the angle of a medium that's talking to people who are dead, like military people, that's, that's really 
Um, well, it's a demographic that is probably pretty easy to say, well, yeah, he was a, a young man, possibly a young woman in their prime. They had a great sense of service. They had a great sense of uh, respect for the, for the flag. I mean, they were highly professional. People respected them. It's just kind of generic kind of stuff it uh, just feels really wrong, doesn't it? I think it feels really wrong. So that is all I have for you today. Uh, Dean McMurray, the military medium. I will let the person know who told me about this guy. And uh, I asked him, do, do you think he's hot reading or cold reading or, you know, send me some clips of his best readings and, and what do you think's going on? And he says, I think he does some hot and cold readings, you know, a little bit of both because he's repeating himself to the same people, the same clients over and over. I don't, I'll try to get the specifics on how he was, he took in one of his friends, the guy who sent it to me. He says he sees him doing readings in the mall. He comes across him in the mall. So I guess he lives in the same town with him and there he is in the mall giving readings so I don't know about this world renowned that I guess anybody could say that I, I maybe I should put on my my um, YouTube channel on my bio bio Susan Gerbic world renowned <laughs> I've been around the world well not around but I, I've been places I've been giving talks in places There's always somebody who wants to take advantage of somebody. I don't know if Dean McMurray believes that he's really communicating with dead people and believes he's clearing houses of energy. I don't know if he's, he really believes it. I don't think it's that important because he's helping people part with their money and grief and not... Uh, you know, is he giving him anything? I don't know. It's just it's so ugly, you guys. Anyway, Dean McMurray, everyone, please like, subscribe, leave me your comments. You know I love those comments. <laughs>